In the mapping section for the board examination of class 12 in geography from the chapter 7 transport and communication and chapter 8 international trade of the first book of fundamentals of human geography information about uh, terminal stations of transcontinental railways like the Trans-Siberian Railways, Trans-Australian Railways and the Trans-Canadian Railways is important. Besides, in the section of Inland Waterways, information about the Suez Canal, Panama Canal, Rhine River Waterways and St. Lawrence River Seaway Canal is also important. The Trans-Siberian Railways extend from the Atlantic coast in the west to the Pacific coast in the east. It starts from St. Petersburg in the west from the Atlantic coast of Russia and passes through the whole of the Eurasian continent and goes to Vladivostok on the Pacific coast in the east. The transcontinental railways as we know it connects the two sides of the continent and so this, trace, this Trans-Siberian railways connects the eastern side of Asia with the western side of Europe. Another important uh, transcontinental railway is the Trans-Australian Railways, which connects the two sides of the Australian continent in the southern part and stretches from Perth in the west on the Indian Ocean and goes up to Melbourne via Sydney in the east coast of Australia. It also connects the eastern and the western side of Australia. The Transcontinental -Can -Trans Railway in the northern American continent, the Trans-Canadian Railways is very important as it connects the two sides of the continents. It connects the Pacific coast on the west with the Atlantic coast in the east. On the Pacific coast, it connects Vancouver of Canada with Halifax, which is on the eastern coast of Canada, on the Atlantic Ocean coast. Besides uh, uh, information about uh, the two very important canals, which are very important uh, for international trade, is also necessary. Suez Canal is one of the most important canal for the international trade. It connects the Mediterranean Sea with the Red Sea. It provides a shorter route for the ships going from the Atlantic Ocean to the Indian Ocean and the Pacific Ocean. On the Mediterranean coast, Port Said is the port on the Mediterranean seaside and the port Suez is on the Red Sea. These two ports, that is the port Said and uh, the port Suez are the two ports on the two sides of the Suez Canal. Besides the Panama Canal, is another important canal 
connecting the two sides of the american continent it is in the central american region in the isthmus of america american continent which connects the two continents of north and south america it is situated in the central american country of panama the panama canal connects the pacific ocean in the west with the caribbean sea in the atlantic ocean in the east this canal has shortened the distance between the western and the eastern coast of the american continent the port of colon is on the atlantic coast and the port of panama city is on the pacific coast of the panama canal among uh, the inland waterways the rhine river waterways which is in germany is an important waterway and acts like an economic lifeline of germany it is the most important inland waterway of europe it connects amsterdam on the atlantic coast with the ruhr industrial region of germany the rhine river waterway is navigable up for ocean liners up to cologne which is an important river port in the inner part of germany In North America the St Lawrence Seaway Canal is the most important inland waterway which connects the Atlantic Ocean with the inner part of United States of America and Canada it connects the inner part of US and Canada with the Atlantic Ocean and connects the great lakes of north america that is lake superior michigan huron erie and ontario with the with the atlantic ocean to the st lawrence river and provide access to the ocean liners to the inner part of north american continent